All right, we're recording. My microphone's not cooperating now. Uh, hello, oh, testing. There we go. All right. Okay, let's turn this music off. And we're going to start a watch party on Facebook because. Hang on. Oh, that's why the computer microphone's on. Give me a second, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> One second. Testing. Test, test, test. All right, that one's going to go bye bye. So I'm turn that off. And then we're not going to have the extra noise. There we go. All right, it's just this microphone now. <laughs> okay. Woo, happy Monday, everybody. It's raining outside. Just give me one second. We're starting a little bit late, but this is the first day we're going to do a good one. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to go and start a watch party so we can get more people on Facebook since I seem to be only the only one on Zoom which is absolutely okay so good evening everybody we're gonna get started now um, this is for everybody that is on my Zoom we're just gonna get started in a couple seconds I just need to uh, get some watch parties happening on Facebook I'm just looking for my video. Hmm. I can't find it. All right, we're just going to get started. I don't have time for this. <laughs> okay. Let me just pull my shirt around here. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the essential oil class. I'm not sure this is up loud enough, so. There we go. All right, so doesn't look like anybody's coming on Zoom right now, so that's okay. Um, <laughs> so let's get started. Um, those of you that I'm, are watching Facebook, you know who I am. We don't have anybody on Zoom, so we'll try to get people on next week. I've been super busy this week. It was kind of hard to like get everybody lined up and ready, so we're just going to get started. Um, Anyway, um, I do apologize because my um, camera's blurry on my laptop, so this is going to be uploaded to um, YouTube, and so it's going to be not the best quality, but we're going to do our best. We're going to take what we get. So 
You all know me, I'm Veronica Froman. I am a Young Living Essential Oils distributor. I have been doing these um, essential oils for about a year and a half now. And it's really been an awesome experience to get to know how well that these essential oils have changed and is changing my life. And so I really wanna come on and uh, talk about this because people don't really understand. There's people that do understand essential oils. There's people that are using the wrong kind of essential oils. And then there's people that are skeptic about essential oils. And so, um, you know, you know the game. Um, so um, I'm gonna quickly share my screen. I'll go like that. There we go. Now I'm going to find my folder. Um, is that it? Yep, that's it. So lesson one, we're gonna jump right in here. So I do apologize that we're starting a little late today, but that's usually the way it runs in the first round of no matter what it is that you're doing. Where's my slides? I cannot, oh, they're there, I think. Just give me a minute, everybody. I'm just gonna look for my slides. I'm sweating in this thing. I don't know why I chose to wear it. <laughs> oh. You can check down here. Oh, there they are. I found them. All right, so let's get started. Who's excited? Give me a heart, or yeah, just give me a heart if you're excited about learning about essential oils. My friend here is excited, so she's she's really excited to get started. So can you guys see the screen? Are you guys able to see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just quickly fix that. Let me double check. <laughs> No, they can't see the screen. All right, we're moving it up. This is insane. Why can't they see the screen? <laughs> All right, we're moving you up really close, guys. You're not going to be able to see the diffuser. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Voila. <laughs> okay. But then you're gonna be able to see me though. <laughs> Let me try to move it back. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> we'll figure it out, you guys. Gotta bring it forward. There we go. And you can still probably see me out of the corner, possibly. I do apologize. I hope it's not the light that is making that too bright. Okay, we can see better. No, nope, that's not going to work. Oh my. All right, that's going to have to do. You're not going to be able to see me, you guys. I do apologize. <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get. So uh, let's make sure that you guys can see it really well. Young Living, yep, good. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Like, like barely. barely. <laughs> All, right. All right. No, but just look at this tiny bit, not much. Oh, there I am. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. This is the Young Living Essential Oils um, uh, class. We're going to be talking about what essential oils is. So, since I'm representing Young Living, we just want to welcome everybody. And so uh, do me a favor, 
Hit the invite. You know, I can come like this and talk. So. <laughs> like this, so that works. Um, yeah, hit the share button. And um, there's gotta be a way that this works. Hang on. No. <laughs> All right, we're figuring this out. This is usually the way the first, the first one goes, that's okay. All right, so there's a screen. You got some oils to see here. You have the fusers that you can probably see right here. So enjoy. Um, we have lemon, or sorry, we have grapefruit and orange essential oil diffusing right now. There you go. Now you can see it. Just to make sure that this is looking good. Oops. Now you really can see. It's a little bit crooked. There we go. I got a little pop up here. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So we want to welcome everybody. I do, again, I do apologize for getting started late. <laughs> so let's get into it. We just want to welcome you. Um, give me one second. I got like less room for paper here. Uh, let's go to the first slide. So the slide is basically a bit about housekeeping um, for those who are actually supposed to be in the Zoom call. <laughs> But I'll read it anyway, just be, just in case we end up getting people. Um, I'm still going to do the Zoom, even though there's nobody on, because if I'm not able to do the Zoom, I would not be able to share my screen with you guys, which can be a big of a, a big bummer. But we're just going to go with it, and you know, if it's just me on the Zoom, at least you guys get to see the screen. So, um, give me one second. I'm just trying to get organized here. Okay, that's my outline. So if you guys did not get this paper here, this is basically the class schedule. So we're not gonna really take the time to go on that right now. If you would like a copy of this and you wanna come on the Zoom maybe in the, in the next coming weeks, we're gonna be every Monday at 8 p.m. We're gonna do uh, Facebook Live as well because like I said, not everybody wants to download Zoom and that's completely understandable. So if you want the schedule, please let me know. I will send it to you via Facebook Messenger or I will email it to you. Um, let me know because the thing is that there's a lot of topics that we're gonna be talking about over the course of the next year. Now, just because this is gonna be like over a year, like a bunch of classes, like that's gonna be going over a year, doesn't mean that you guys have to stay. Doesn't mean that you guys have to feel like you have to commit and be here every week. Um, I would hope people will come as often as they can. And so, um, yeah. So let me know if you want the copy of the schedule. So let's get started on the house. Um, hang on a second. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got it now. Okay, so let's click. So this, like I said, this is just some housekeeping for those who are on the Zoom, and I'll, I'll read it anyway, just because if anybody actually does want to come on the Zoom. Here's the good thing about the Zoom. The one that I've already mentioned is that, you know, if you um, want to see the screen, uh, even though you're on Facebook Live, you can still see the screen. And two, if you come on Zoom, you are going to be able to be more like interactive. Um, so, you know, you can um, actually like talk to me, right? Where on Facebook, you can just comment and I don't always see them until question and answer sign, which is good. So, okay, let's go through the housekeeping for a second. I do apologize, there's a couple of pictures that are in the way. So number one, if you, um, if, if the class gets done within the 40 minute timeout, cutoff time, we will take a 10 minute break, come back in the Zoom meeting for question and answers. If I don't get done the lesson, number two, if I don't get done our lesson within the 40 minute timeout, we will just jump back on if we get um, 
kick it off. We'll just finish the lesson and then go straight to question and answer. Number three, we'll take a couple of minutes to greet everyone each week and then everybody will be muted throughout the lesson so that we can stay on time and not run out. <laughs> uh, number four, you will need a paper and a pen if you want to take notes. So um, I really can't tell right now how many people is watching. I see a few people, so that's great. Um, number five, if you have questions, please do not unmute yourself during the lesson. Oops, my paper was in the way. Do not unmute yourself during the lesson because we don't want to interrupt the, um, me, the, the class. So if you have a question, write it down and then we'll take it during uh, question and answers. And then number six, disclaimer is for me to just say that I cannot promise healing or a cure. I cannot suggest or subscribe, prescribe or anything like that because I'm not a doctor. This is just for learning purposes only. And number seven, I am also recording the meeting on Zoom so that I can upload it on the YouTube. But um, we'll probably, of course, we have the Facebook Live as well. So that's going to be good. So usually if people's on the Zoom and they don't really want their screenshot to be on the camera, then just turn the video off. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. You guys, this is a lot of <coughs> this is a lot of work and preparation to put together. But you know what? It's worth it because in the last little while, the Lord has been putting it on my heart to do this because here's the thing. The Lord, this is what um, this is what God wanted me to do. Okay, if I can go back into the end of 2018 is when it all started. So 2018 May is when I signed up. I didn't really understand what to do with essential oils, how they work, and stuff like that. Like it was told to me, but I guess I wasn't receptive at the time. So December, I'm looking for something else. And this book stares me right in the face. And I really felt like this is what God was telling me, saying to do this. So the living, Young Living book was staring me in the face. And I felt like God was telling me to do this business because, you know, I've sold other stuff before that helps to feed your fleshly appetite as far as your clothes, clothes jewelry, other stuff like that. But how much more better for me to like actually share something that's going to help people to um, be restored in their health and wellness. And so I really strongly feel that this is something that God has put on my heart. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily super successful right now because it does take a few years to get successful. Um, so, you know, and that's okay because I'm willing to take this and be, you know, uh, of willing to just take what I get and educate people. I think a lot of people need to be educated if they choose to, and so that's why you're here tonight. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna click on my next slide here. Oops, what happened? There we go. So lesson one, this is basically an introductory uh, lesson. Now, a lot of people will think, well, boo, <laughs> you know, introductories are pretty boring and stuff like that. But um, stay with me because you're going to learn a lot in this lesson. I mean, you're going to be learning the core information about the founder of Young Living. You're going to learn about what essential oils are and so much more. Like, you're going to learn about chemical research, how there are... Oh, don't tell me I've used half of my already. Let me check my message. Sorry, guys. All right, I just had to get, I had a text from somebody saying that they're having a hard time getting on Zoom, which could be the reason why I don't have anybody on Zoom yet. <laughs> so I just instructed them to come to Facebook Live and they will get everything that they need to get. So let's get back into it. So like I said, it, um, introductions can always seem boring. When I was in school, 
and our first day was introduction, introduction, introduction. I'm like, bleh. But really, I kind of learned that, you know, you do learn a lot in introductions. So our learning objectives for today are um, the late founder, Gary Young. What is Young Living? What, is, what are essential oils? Chemical research and distillation farms. So uh, I think we're going to stick here for now, and I'm going to go ahead and do some reading. All right. So, oh, yes, we do need to click to the next one. All right, Young Living Standards. So I actually need to get my book and read this because I can't see that. <laughs> um, bear with me. All right, so Young Living is about health without compromise. Young Living's pure, potent, natural products provide immediate, effective results without harmful side effects. That's the real solution. That is why wellness seekers worldwide are making Young Living essential oils their first choice for natural healing. So true. Um, I love Young Living, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, all right, let's get started. Get my glasses back on. Okay, so the, the aromatherapy industry has really stepped into the limelight in the last decade. Aromatherapy started as an introduction to therapeutic uses of essential oils, but since degraded into the synthetic world of misformation, misinformation, sorry. So uh, let me just quickly turn to the next page. I have a microphone in my hand, so if I'm pausing, you'll understand. <laughs> okay. So, and adulteration of God's oil. So basically what it's saying is that a lot of companies have really um, destroyed essential oils for financial gain. Um, I'll just quickly give you some definitions of some words that you might not be able to understand. So the definition for a synthetic is a substance made of chemical synthetics to imitate natural syn synthesis, emotion or action that is not genuine. So that's what you see happening in a lot of other companies, and I'm not bashing any companies, but you see this in a lot of other places where they're adding, like they're full of synthetics, they're, they're making it to make it, stuff look good to imitate other good stuff because they want to cut down on the prices but when you cut down on the prices to produce a product it's really not that healthy because it's full of synthetics it's adulterated so um, synthesis means the production of chemical compound so chemicals that's what it, it is full of some of these companies are not worried about making pure essential oils as long as they can make an essential oil that pe get people's attention then they'll sell it and so with that being said um you know um there's these basically these um essential oils that are sold in other markets they are full of chemicals and they can do more damage to your body than you really understood. And this is why it's important that you guys are here tonight, um, listen to this class. So, um, so adulteration, uh, where's that word? Okay. The word adulteration, the action of making something poor and quality. So that's what these other companies do, um, is to save money for themselves. They'll make the, the quality of the oil poorer, full of synthetics, full of pesticides and chemicals, which are really no good for your body. So I'm probably going to repeat myself because I'm ahead of myself, but I mean, repeats will probably be a good thing for you because some of this stuff might fly over your head and that's okay because we're live. So you can always watch the replay over and over and over if you, if you so rightly feel so, like you should do that. Um, all right. So many companies make mistakes and produce essential oils. Sorry, let's try that again. Many companies make the mistake and produce essential oil lines that uses synthetics and adulterated oils to save money. 
and I'll explain to you in a minute what Young Living does. Again, I just wanted to specifically say that I'm not bashing any other company. I'm just saying this because Young Living Essential Oils are pure 100%. And so we're encouraging people to be careful what you use out there. Um, so it costs extra money to make 100% pure oils because of farm workers and adulteration. I don't think that was supposed to be in there. I think it was supposed to be distillation. <laughs> I did a boo boo on my sheet. So let's, so let me read that again just so I'm not confusing anybody. It costs more money to make 100% essential oils for farm, of farm workers and distillation. These companies make these, oh, wait a second, I got a person on. Rosalind. Hello, Rosalind. All right, she made it on. <laughs> okay. Let me just quickly check something here. All right, so let's continue. Um, so let me just read this over again so that way we're not stuck in the med. So it does cost money to make 100% pure oils because of farm workers and distillation. Those companies make essential oils look pure for a good sellout, but are full of chemicals, additives, and pesticides. So, though these oils may seem good for your body, the chemicals made inside of them can do more damage and don't potentially work as good as 100% pure oils. So it's hard to find an aromatherapy labeled product that does not contain adulterated oils. So, um, which is so true. So aromatherapy. So what is aromatherapy? Aromatherapy is the use of aromatic plant extracts and essential oils in massages or baths. We just quickly turn my page here. Okay. So we're gonna go to the next slide and I'll show you how that actually works. My mouse is doing something crazy here. <laughs> okay, so this is just an example of aromatherapy um, plants. So obviously essential oils are distilled. Basically oil is the, like um, essential oil is the lifeblood of the plant. It's just like our bodies, right? Our blood is the life giving of our bodies, right? They keep us alive. And the essential oils are that way to the plants. Let me just check my messages again. I should, uh, let me see. Excuse me, guys. Oh, gosh, I've used 50% of my internet already. <laughs> so if we go off, um, maybe I should, I should switch over now. Oh, gosh, here we go. This might end up becoming a two-part, you guys, just because my internet's already 50%, but we'll... We'll try to get through as much as we can. So this picture basically signifies um, the therapeutic plants and how they work. And this one too, so basically the oils are distilled from the plant into the bottle, which gives us essential oils. Um, we're not there yet, so we won't look at that part yet. So many people today are unaware of the documentation and use of essential oils and their ancient history and healing and anointing. Did you know that these lovely, beautiful bottles here can use for, like you can use for anointing. Those of you who are believers, you can use these for anointing. I mean, I've um, used oils at my parents often for like anointing, I anoint the bedroom. If I heard like weird noises and stuff like that, you know, I just anoint the whole bedroom and stuff like that. So you can anoint yourself. You can use these for anointing, which is really neat. So like I said, I can't promise healing. I can't promise a cure. But what I can do is just tell you that these do have the healing properties in them that helps your body to restore that to the way God intended it for us to be. 
So let me just quickly, uh, yeah, I gotta switch to the next page. So that's really awesome that I can use that for anointing. All right. These documentations are found in the biblical references and other ancient references such as used by the Egyptians. Historical references show that at one time, they were used to treat virtually every ailment known to mankind. Like, you guys, this is the best thing that I can say that has really ever happened to me because, like, I can tell you stories upon stories of what these little bottles have done for me. Um, you know, I can have a good laugh now. And you guys have seen videos upon videos, whether it's on my news feed, whether it's on my page, you know, about what the oils have done for me. I can have a good laugh now without getting all choked up because the RC essential oil helps with breathing and like, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, it helps with your breathing. So, um, you know, respiratory, <laughs> there's a word. So it helps with respiratory. So now because of that, I can actually um, breathe better. I'm not getting all choked up now because I have, when I have a good laugh, um, I can get hiccup, I can get rid of hiccups really easily, um, by lemon. All you do is you just take a drink of lemon and like put a, drink lemon water, put a drop of lemon in your water and drink it. You don't have to drink it really fast like you do normal water when you have hiccups. You just have to drink it. Drink one drop and it, your hiccups are gone. Another thing it's done for me is that, you know, with me having restless leg syndrome is that, you know, if my legs are jolting at night time, um, my nerves are kind of like going weird and it keeps me awake. What I do is put lavender on my legs and then I have a peaceful sleep. So that's just a few things that they've done for me. Eucalyptus has kept me from getting sick with colds. I had in closing, my throat was closing up on Christmas day um, with a lot of mucus, it was hard to breathe. And so I took a drop of um, eucalyptus down my throat the next day, I was perfectly fine. So just to give you a, a couple of um, things of what the oils have done for me. Um, so uh, where are we? Uh, okay. So yeah. So these are your this this is your natural home remedies for whatever ailment that you would have. You know, it helps your body to repair itself instead of going to the doctor. Now, I don't have anything against the doctors. I mean, if I need a doctor, I'm gonna go to a doctor. These oils are not replacing doctors in my life, but they are giving me fewer and fewer and less trips to the doctor. So that's a really good thing. Um, with the advancement of over-the-counter and prescribed drugs during the last century, the knowledge of natural, therapeutic, scientific substances, especially essential oils, was lost to the public. May, let me read that again. With the, <laughs> with the advancement of over-the-counter and prescribed drugs during the last, in this late century, the knowledge of natural, therapeutic substances, especially essential oils, were lost to the public. And that's why a lot of people, um, I don't know the statistics, but I know that when I introduce young, um, sorry, when I introduce essential oils to my family, they're like, what was that? What is that? Is that a drug? Is that like, you know, they don't know what it is. And so and they think I'm weird for using them. <laughs> you know, and there's probably other people that think so too. And, and when, you, when you smell essential oils for the first time, it could be strong but then you, you start to get used to it because you know if you choose the right oils that it's actually doing you a lot of good. It's helping you repair your health and wellness, which is really awesome. So that's, it's, been lost to, it's been lost to the public and that's why a lot of people don't really understand what essential oils are, right? They'll probably think this is something crazy, you know? Are you getting high on those things? Who knows? Of course, I don't do drugs, so. <laughs> but I've had that said to me. So, um, so anyway, this is why I'm here because I want to be able to educate you guys on essential oils 
and you can make the choice for yourself, right? So only about five decades, of, decades ago, the United States did essential oils began to gain place on the shelves of health food stores and perfume shops. Now, because of that, it doesn't mean that they were good oils. It just means that they came back into the public eye in health food stores and stuff like that. So today, we find synthetic essential oils, ingredients in soaps, cleaning agents, uh, cosmetics, skin care, food, and flavorings. Sorry, food flavorings. So let's go to um, slide number four. So this is our seed to seal. So I'm not gonna read all of the details right now because I can't see it necessarily, but this will come back up again in later lessons. So this is gonna tell you the guarantee of essential oils, especially with Young Living, because as, I've, as we learned so far, is that there are essential oil, there's essential oils out there on the market that you know um, are not good. They're full of synthetics, they're adulterated, full of chemicals, pesticides, you name it. So, you know, so this is just to show you that Young Living Essential Oils is seed to seal, which is really, really awesome. So, you know, seed to seal means there's nothing added in between. I'll quickly go over the four steps with you. So, the number one here is seed. So, when you plant your, your, your flowers or your your plants or whatever you're, you're putting the seed into the ground and then they're gonna grow and then you're going to cultivate them and then you're going to distill the oils from them which is the picture number three where it says it shows that oil drop there um, and then number four they are going to test they actually have scientific labs run by Young Living that will actually test the essential oils to make sure that they are safe. And then there's nothing else added. They, they pay extra money on their farms to make sure that the oils are safe, that the oils are um, maintained well. And you know, there's so much information in these classes, you guys, each week that's, you know, from now on, that's gonna just be really amazing and it's gonna rock your world, what you're gonna learn about essential oils. So, yeah, <laughs> so they're gonna test them. They have their own scientific labs. I mean, Young Living is not like other companies out there that will not properly tender their, their plants to make essential oils and put synthetics and chemicals and, you know, adulterate them. These are 100% pure. This is why we have a promise of seed to seal. So, and then of course, lastly, it goes into the, it's sealed into the bottle. Just like these right here. I do apologize, you guys can't see my face. <laughs> so just like these, it goes, like you said, numbers, step, um, here I'll point. <laughs> the first process is planting your seeds, right? I mean, you, you, who likes to plant flowers? Send me a um, big thumbs up if you like to plant flowers. So we kind of are familiar with the process of doing essential oils, right? You know how to plant a flower, you know how to let them grow, and the only thing you don't do is to steal them to get the oils. We just plant them and they look, they look pretty on our lawn, right? So the first one is you're gonna plant the seeds. The second part is you're going to cultivate them, right? You're going to, Take them out of the ground and you're going to distill them to get the oil out and then they're going to straight to the scientific lab to be tested. Nothing is being added and it goes right into the bottle just like these here. All of these lovely bottles back here. Um, <laughs> so that's a really awesome thing you guys. This is, Young Living is probably besides Jesus, <laughs> the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I do believe that these, amen, I believe that these are um, tools that the Lord has given us. And in lesson four, we're going to be talking about biblical references and biblical history. So I'm sure a lot of you will probably be interested in that. So that's about three weeks from now. 
Um, okay, so let's go on to the next part. So, um, okay. Okay, the foundation, or sorry, the late founder, Gary Young. So the founder of um, Young Living Essential Oils is um, D. Gary Young. And we'll get into some information about him in a minute, but he's passed away. And this is him right here. And he's a man of God, you guys. This is why I love Young Living so much, because considering the fact that God has given us these tools. Now, let me just quickly stop for a second. Okay, like I said, I can't promise healing because that's not my position to do, right? And because we use essential oils does not mean that we're replacing God's hand. God has provided these for us. I strongly believe that. He's knocking them over. He's provided these for us. I showed this camera too because we have someone on Zoom. So this is great. I want to sleep. Thank you to those who are on Zoom. And uh, yeah, this is exciting, you guys. So much exciting. And I, I put so much work into this. And so anyway, so this guy right here that you're seeing right now, Gary Young, he is a man of God. He passed away in 2018. I don't know what, of what, but I mean, sometimes God says it's our time, right? We got to go, <laughs> right? But he was right before the Lord. He had a relationship with the Lord. He went into the mountains to pray. I heard this by watching his celebration of life. And he put this, he is the founder of Young Living. He, um, I will get into the details now. So when Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, brought back 13 essential oils from Europe, there were no written information available about the uses and applications. The essential oils were sold in a few health stores, sorry, in, in a few health food stores and perfume stores. Um, so we talk, we're going to be um, we're going to be talking about like therapeutic grades and other lessons to come. So we'll just wait for that. So he brought back thirteen essential oils from Europe. Didn't have any knowledge on the application, the uses but he found them and then he decided that he was going to do some research and really get into what he's doing now, which has made Young Living Essential Oils so possible. So thankful. I'm so thankful to God that he's used this man. And, you know, so, um, okay, so the information opened the door and led the way to new exciting frontier that propelled Gary into research of ancient knowledge that had been lost to synthetic production of perfumes and food flavorings. All these studies Gary pulled out of the dust of history. So before I stop there, I don't know how far I am into the Zoom. So I just want to let you know, Rosalind, since you're on the Zoom, if we get cut off, just sign back in, come back on. Um, and we'll get started back again because we only get 40 minutes and we start it late. So just, I'm probably going to get cut off soon. So uh, just pop back on. Um, all right. So let me show you the next slide because we're going to talk about therapeutic grade. So this is a therapeutic grade. When we're talking about therapeutic grade, there's other companies out there that produce a different therapeutic grade. So you got this kind of like wheel right here. So, um, in the center is grade A, and that's going blank when I put my hand there, so I'll try not to put that there. Um, so, in the center, we have authentic therapeutic grade. So, authentic, pure, authentic therapeutic grade is oils that are made to be 100% pure, no additives, stuff that you would find at Young Living. I mean, that's all that you're going to find at Young Living is healthy, therapeutic grade essential oils. Um, I need to get myself a drink. I've been so yummy. <laughs> Feels good to have a drink. <laughs> All right, so, and then we have grade, where are we? We have grade B in the red at the top. So grade B is your natural food grade. 
And so if you have like, um, even B is not the greatest, like, a, um, let me see if I can read this stuff there. I can't read it, but you know what? It's okay because we're not, we're going to get into more of this in other lessons coming. So stay tuned, okay? This is going to be really good. So grade C is the one on the left right here in our book. So the dark blue, grade, let me check. Yeah, grade C. So grade C is um, perfume grade. So we know that anything that with perfume is not a good thing. They're full of chemicals. I used to wear perfume. As soon as I started Young Living and I learned all this stuff, I'm like, goodbye perfume. You're going out the window. <laughs> so I still have some in, like, in, in my storage, but you know, sometimes we get very sentimentic, sentimental, I mean, and we wanna hold on to stuff, right? So I'm not using it, but it's sitting in my storage um, in a box somewhere. So it's like, I need to go through, I need to get in there and I need to throw them out. The other ones I've thrown out, but you know, a lot of stuff that I got from Avon, I'm like, I wanna hold on to, but oh, I don't wanna use it because I know it's not good. So we know that grade um, C is a perfume grade, which is not good because perfumes are full of um, chemicals. Uh, Food flavoring and um, yeah, food flavorings are full of chemicals. And of course, grade D, which is um, floral waters. You know, we don't we know we know that those are full of chemicals too. So, any time that you are investing in a, in any kind of essential oil, you want to make sure you want to do your research on them, and you want to make sure that they are grade A. Make sure that because grade A's are 100% pure, no chemicals, no additives. They're not alterated to that, so that way um, the producers can like save money. And that's the great thing about Young Living is that they spent whatever money they had to spend to get us 100% pure oils. So, is anybody learning anything? Let me know if you're learning anything. Um, <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you're on Facebook. Give me a little hand clapping if you're on Zoom. And uh, I, I wanna know if anybody's learning anything. <laughs> so, um, all right, back to Gary. He was ridiculed and laughed at for his idea, ideas of therapeutic uses. He spent decades conducting chemical research on the abilities of the essential oils to combat diseases and improve health. He also developed a new method of applications for which thousands of people benefit, especially his integration of, I gotta switch my page here. Integration of, of therapeutic grade essential oils with diary, sorry, diary, dietary supplements and personal care products. So let's go to the next slide. And I'm gonna be showing you the other stuff the other products that um, Young Living provides because Young Living provides more than just these pretty bottles here of essential oils. Young Living is about having a chemical free lifestyle, so we have other things that they have that helps you to get rid of all chemicals out of your life. So let's just take a look at those now. So the first one here is um, our plus line and basically these oils are stuff that you can put in your food and water like if you're if like your coffee your tea um your water like i like to drink lemon water i put lemon essential oil in my water so these oils here that have the the, the, the white um package with the plus on it those are the ones that are used for dietary and these ones too um, I don't want to make Young Living sound like they're expensive, but if you really are stuck for money and you, you really don't have a lot of money to get started, these are what you could start with because whether they're dietary and you use them in your drinks and like your beverages and your food, you can still use them for like topical use because, I mean, I do, and they still work the same, but they're just more labeled for dietary. And I even use um, labels like this, like if I have like 
lemon like this or orange or whatever, I'll put that in my drinks. I, I do all my cooking with essential oils. I mostly use lemon essential oil. I Like I said, I put lemon essential oil in my water. You can put uh, lemon orange, you can put cinnamon bark plus in there, you, in, in there, you can put peppermint in your like coffee, in your tea, in your hot chocolate, whichever. These things are a really good booster for that and they're really, really, really healthy for you guys. So let's move on to the next part. So you're gonna be surprised you guys because we have food. <laughs> We have food and essential oils with Young Living because we're not just about essential oils. We are about healthy living. We are about no chemicals, no additives, no pesticides, nothing that is unhealthy. So you can do your grocery shopping through Young Living as well. So this is um, our Gary's Elkhorn, Elkhorn uh, macaroni. We have Elkhorn um, pancake mix as well. So, I mean, you guys are going to get, you guys are going to be, you guys, I'm going to surprise, I'm going to knock your socks off by what Young Living sells. Um, so, I mean, try it. It's worth it. I bought the food before and it's like so yummy. So good. So much. It's a better, it's a more healthy choice. Let's go to the next. I need a drink. We have pasta. So, Elkhorn pasta from Young Living. And... The thing I like about Young Living too is that, you know, with Gary, the, Gary Young, the late Gary Young being the founder, is that they also support causes around the world, like their countries, to feed other people. So that way, you can choose. You don't have to. You can choose that when you're putting in your order. You can choose to donate a dollar or whatever to help um, the poor, like poor people that don't have food. Okay, so let's, let's get moving. We'll get through as much as we can. Oops. We also have something that I know Melissa loves. <laughs> so this is um, Ningxia Red, and these are uh, really healthy. We're going to do a lot of, like in our upcoming classes, um, there's going to be classes that's going to talk about different areas of like what I've showed you so far about um, Young Living. We're going to be talking about Ningxia Red and what it's for. Ningxia Red, let me just give you this little um, tidbit right now <laughs> until we get up to that because that's going to probably be like a, a few weeks away still. Um, so the Ningxia Red will help with energy. It will help with like if you're fighting fatigue, it will help to boost up your immune system. So if you're getting sick all the time, this stuff is your go-to. This is what you need. <laughs> and it's very good. You can give it to your children. You can give it to your animals as a drink. You can even um, these little packages there. You can put them in the freezer and then you can cut the um, top of the top of the package off and you can your kids can use them as freezies. So, and there's a lot of things you can do, and we'll talk about that in later lessons. Um, another thing that Young Living provides as well is um, Kid Sense. So if anybody is wondering about, um, is there anything that we can use for our kids? Can our kids use essential oils? My answer to that, I'm sure you guys are probably putting in your questions right now, writing your questions down, or putting it in the comments below, or in the chat on Zoom. Um, my answer is yes, kids and babies can use essential oils. Now we're gonna be doing um, other classes that's gonna talk about like kids scents and kids essential oils and ba for babies and stuff like that. So we'll have more inter um, instructions on that. But you, you do need to dilute essential oils. If you use some of these like regular essential oils, you can use on your kids um, as long as you're not spicy. You will dilute them and only use a very, very tiny little bit for babies. But we'll talk about that when we get there. Right now, we're just showing you what we have as far as Young Living. They, they reach all area. So they do have kids scent oils as well. You can see that there's three here. They have more as well. So, and then of course, 
you know, there's a lot of other places that are in shops. Like we have Shoppers Drug Mart, we have Walmart. And let me just say, before I go any further, I'm not knocking any of these. Um, I am here to say that a lot of things are, a lot of makeup is full of um, chemicals and even skincare. So Young Living also provides um, makeup and skincare that have no chemicals in them. So, I mean, those are so pretty. I want to get those myself. So we have makeup, Savvy Mineral Makeup. And then, of course, um, I, I don't know if that is coming very clear on, on here, but we have something called a Thieves line. So we have Thieves essential oil that come in a starter kit, but we also have something called a Thieves line. And this is where... The rubber really meets the road because this is where we do get rid of our um, toxic chemicals from our homes. We have laundry soap, we have dish soap, we have house cleaner, we have hand soap, we have shampoo, we have toothpaste, we have um, hand sanitizer, all of the stuff that Young Living offers that does not have chemicals in them. I mean, you're really helping, you're doing yourself a favor you're doing your kids a favor when you're using our thieves line because basically you're getting rid of all of the other stuff that is under your coverage right now. I can tell you there's probably loads and loads and loads of stuff in your coverage right now that are full of chemicals, pine saw, Lysol, all of that stuff, even the toothpaste, like the Crest toothpaste or whatever toothpaste that we get, those have chemicals. That's why Young Living also has um, toothpaste. And not only that, but they also help you whiten your teeth. So this is our thieves line. We'll be talking about that in um, oncoming lessons in the future. And also, we also have supplements as well. So um, supplements, you know, you can go to health food stores, you can go to like goodness me. And don't get me wrong, I'll correct myself again. I'm not knocking anything. Um, there, I'm sure there probably are places that do have like non-chemicals, but I mean, I think that I was going to do chemicals and other like health food stores, other like drug stores and stuff like that, right? The supplements can be full of chemicals where with Young Living, there are no chemicals. Again, 100% pure, everything. So what's going on here? A gift from Zoom. Huh? Running out of time. We removed the 40 minute time limit on your group meeting. Oh, goody! Awesome. Okay. So we're probably going to run out of time soon on the Zoom. So we're just going to jump back on. So, Rosalind, if you're still on, which I believe you are, if our Zoom meeting gets cut out, you just pop on and we'll continue our lesson. And I'm probably going to have to switch to my Wi Fi because I think my dad is going to run out too. So. Those of you on Facebook, if we cut out as well, as far as my data cuts out, just hop, um, just look for the next live video. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm gonna click the X and hopefully it don't kick us off. And that's probably telling me that's my 90% there. <laughs> All right, so we have supplements and we'll, we'll talk about supplements and further classes down the road. So stay tuned. Da, da, da. We have animal scents, you guys. Who is shocked that there are animal scents? I am. I have two cats. And I was really, really shocked that we have essential oils for animals. Woohoo! So that's a really good thing. That's another thing that Young Living offers as well. Right? So awesome. And then we're going to get to Young Living Farms in a minute. All right. So let's talk about the farms. So... In St. Mary's, Idaho, his, which is still talking about Gary Young. So in St. Mary's, Idaho, his passion for extract, extracting God's healing oils from Mother Nature's beauty made him the world, let me just quickly put on my next page. It made him the world leader of growing aromatic herbs and plants for distilling, sorry, distilling, Distillation of essential oils. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. So we're gonna look, we're gonna take a look at the world leader map because it does say that you know he became 
like Young Living is the world leader of essential oils, right? Because we have Gary Young, who started his research like long, long time ago and started this business. I believe that um, other um, companies that maybe are 100% pure oils probably was built out of Young Living, you know, maybe like a a clone or a copy type of thing. And I'm not, I'm not knocking them, don't get me wrong. So um, let's take a look at the map here. Oh, that's farms. Okay, so let's take a look at um, his farms. Um, okay, we'll read this first because we're talking about farms. With 18 privately owned and partner farms and distillation operations and facilities across the world as of 2018, and numerous partnerships and contract growers um, stretching. Okay, let me try that. I'm, I'm really goofy here. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. Um, with 18 privately owned and partner farms, Gary owns 18 farms that he privately owns and partners with other people. So with 18 privately owned and partner farms, and distillation operation facilities across the world as of 2018, and numerous partnerships and contract growers stretching the far corners of the world. So um, let's take a look at the farms quickly, and then we'll take a look at the map. So these are just a couple of his farms that he has. I don't know exactly where these are, but it's just giving you an idea. That is such a pretty farm, you guys. So pretty. <laughs> okay, here's the map. So this map, um, you will see that, you know, that Young Living is the world leader of all essential oils. Because, I mean, it really started with Gary Young, right? The founder of Young Living. And so on this map here, you're gonna see dots all over the map. That's just telling you that there are farms all over the world. If you take a look at these, um, I had to turn to the TV for a second so I can see. Um, so right here, the golden dot here at the, top, at the bottom left corner, um, that is basically um, countries with young living members. So, countries with young living members. So if you look at that kind of like bronze dot there and you look all over the map, you'll see where all the members are. If you look at the dark red dot here and look at the dark red dots all over the map, you're going to see young living um, international offices. The green dot basically represents young living global headquarters around the world. And of course, the blue dot represents um, Young Living's farms and this um, distillation, Young Living's uh, farms and distillations across the world. So just to give you a few ideas, we have a farm in Fort, I can't really read that right now. Fort, Fort Nelson, British Columbia, Canada. Um, Calgary, Alberta. We have um, Highland Flats, Idaho, St. Mary's, Idaho, Lake, sorry, Lehigh, Utah, I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, uh, Mexico City in Mexico, we have stuff around the world. We have, we have, there are some farms in Israel, there's some farms in Australia, there's some in the United Kingdom, all over the United States, like it's just all over the world, it, you know. So this has got to be like this is this blows me away. <laughs> so let's click. Let's see what's happening next. All right. And I'm going to click to the next slide. Slide now. So this is kind of giving you a bit of an idea of how our oils are distilled. And now I got to get my little book here so I can read it. All right. I think we're almost done, you guys. This is good. <laughs> okay, so distillation of essential oils. 
The reintroduction of essential oils into modern medicine that began during the late 19th century and early 20th centuries. Since the time, essential oils have been used tra um, traditionally to kill harmful germs, spiritually to balance mood and to dispel negative emotions. The key to producing quality essential oils is to preserve the distillate Deserve and dedicate compounds of the aromatic plant through expert distillation. The proper process of